Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a system of equations. I guess we could call this an exponential system of equations. We have 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power y equals 12 and x plus y equals 5. And we're going to be solving for x and y values. I'll be presenting three methods, even though one of the methods will probably be incomplete. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and start with the first method. For my first method, I'm going to start with the second equation and then isolate y. Don't ask why. y equals 5 minus x. Great. That's something I can substitute into the first one. So let's go ahead and replace y with that. So we get 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power y equals 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power 5 minus x. And as you know, that is equal to 12. Great. This gives us a really nice equation and we can solve it. It is exponential, but an easy kind. OK, we've done a lot of exponential equations, but this is one of the easiest kinds. You probably won't see it on this channel. Maybe you will sometimes. To solve this problem, we're going to use properties of exponents. And again, I'm thinking about maybe making a separate video on properties of exponents. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section if you think that will be helpful. You can always come up with suggestions, by the way. I always read those and try to honor them. So by using properties of exponents, because we have a difference of two exponents, we can kind of write it as 2 to the power 5 divided by 2. Because when you divide powers with the same base, you subtract the exponents, okay? And that is equal to 32. Now we can go ahead and replace 2 to the power x with something. Let me rewrite this with 32. And now we're going to replace 32, I mean not 32, 2 to the power x with something. Don't use y and don't ask y, okay? So I'm going to pick t for 2 to the power x. And from here I get t plus 32 over t equals 12. You probably know t is one of my favorite variables and also one of my favorite drinks. Let's go and multiply everything by t so we can get rid of the fraction t squared plus 32 equals 12t. Put everything on the same side and you'll get this equation. This is quadratic. You can use the formula if you want, but this is factorable. And this can be factored as t minus 4 times t minus 8 equals 0. Factoring trinomials is an important concept. Maybe we'll make a video about that too, but just remind me if I forget. From here we get two things. t is equal to 4 or t is equal to 8. But what is t? t is 2 to the power x, remember? So we're going to replace t with 2 to the power x. And that's going to give us x equals 2 or x equals 3. Because 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8 and 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4. So we got two solutions from here and they should both be good, right? <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. And we're also going to take a look at something interesting at the end, okay? So hang in there. We have x plus y equals 5, and 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power y equals 5. Oops, I meant this one is 12, not 5. Okay. So for my second method, remember with the first method we use substitution. Can we use elimination? Well, probably not. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to use properties of exponents again, but in a different way. So x plus y is equal to 5. We're going to get... Now, we, in the second equation, we have 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power y. And my claim is that this is kind of like the product, I mean the sum of two numbers. And my claim is I can get their product. How? by doing the following. What if x plus y is equal to 5, what is 2 to the power x plus y? And it's 2 to the power 5, right? Of course, by way of substitution. And 2 to the power 5 is 32. Does that look familiar? It actually came up earlier with the first method, right? So obviously there's going to be some similarities. So what is that supposed to mean though? Like how good is this? Like how is this going to help you, right? Well, if you 
Hold on a sec. Okay. So how is this going to help us? Well, if you look at 2 to the power x plus y, that's what I meant by properties of exponents, the exponents are added. Remember with the first method, we, uh, they were subtracted and we turned it into a quotient. This one is going to turn into a product. That's what I mean by, can we get their products? Yes, we can. So this gives us 2 to the power x times 2 to the power y equals 32. Along with 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power y equals 12, this actually makes up a really nice system of equations. And we can actually invoke Vieta. If you know Vieta's formulas, I made a video, a separate video on Vieta's formulas. Go ahead and check them out here, right? And it's awesome. Just awesome. I mean, not the video. The Vieta's formulas are awesome, obviously, right? I mean, video is good too, but maybe not bad. Just check it out. Let me know what you think. But Vieta's formulas basically gives us the sum and the product of the roots without solving the equation. So if you have something like t squared plus a t plus b, and if the roots are t sub 1 and t sub 2, then their sum is given by negative a, and their product is given by b. Make sense? And we can actually uh, reverse engineer Vieta, and if we know the sum and the product, we can form the equation. That's what I mean by this. So, but... We could definitely use Vieta. So call this A, call this B. You have A, B, and A plus B, and just form the equation. If you're going to form with T, it's going to look like this. In other words, the equation whose roots are A, B can be written as T squared minus the quantity A plus B multiplied by T plus A, B equals zero. If you solve this equation using the quadratic formula, you're going to get A and B as solutions. So you can kind of check and verify. But that's not what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a slightly different approach a little twist, okay? I just want to share with you real quick because you're not always stuck with Vieta or any other formula. You can just solve this system uh, with a really smart way. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and isolate 2 to the power x and write it as 12 minus 2 to the y. Again, substitution is awesome, right? And then we're going to go ahead and plug it in here. We're going to replace 2 to the power x with 12 minus 2 to the y, and then multiply by 2 to the y equals 32. Again, at this point, you might be thinking, okay, can I find two numbers whose sum is 12 and whose product is 32? And that's going to be fairly easy to do. You can do it, or you can just distribute and see what I'm going to do with this. 12 times 2 to the y minus 4 to the y equals 32. And I'm going to put 4 to the y minus 12 times 2 to the y plus 32 equals 0. Now, obviously, 4 to the y is what? 2 to the y times 2 to the y. But let's go ahead and do this. Because we are able to find two numbers whose product is 32 and whose sum is 12, let's go ahead and break down the 12 minus 12 or negative 12 into minus 8 minus 4. You get it? So we kind of break it down, kind of like the x method, and then we're going to factor by grouping. You know what I'm saying? Take out 2 to the y, you're going to get 2 to the y minus 8, and then take out minus 2 to the y, oops, not minus 2 to the y because that's not a common factor, minus 4 I meant. And you're going to get 2 to the y minus 8. Of course, a common factor, 2 to the y minus 4 times 2 to the y minus 8 equals 0. From here, you get 2 to the y equals 4 and 2 to the y equals 8. And that gives you y equals 2 or y equals 3. And of course, their sum is 5. So if y is equal to 2, then x is going to be 3 and vice versa, right? So that gives us the exact same solutions, but in a slightly different way. And the third method. Okay, here we go. This is the fun part. We're going to finish with that, and then I'm going to show you something cool. Okay? So, stick around. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to write powers of 2, okay? Uh, starting with the 2 to the power 0. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and then 64. I was about to write 48. 1, 2, and 8, so on and so forth, right? I need two powers that add up to 12, and then, of course, x plus y needs to satisfy 5. The only two powers, because this is binary, it can only happen in one way, right? With powers of 2, is 4 and 8. So there you go. That works. 2 and 3, 3 and 2. And of course, it satisfies the second equation as well. Are you ready to see something awesome? And that is the graph of these two functions. Isn't that beautiful? The exponential is a really nice curve intersected by a straight line at two points. Therefore, those are the solutions and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye